Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial about the count repeater. This is the count repeater. It costs a thousand bytes to unlock and one zinc to print. Like the button repeater and all the sensors, it's got a sensor pin that you can pull out and extend and attach to whatever you want to turn on and off or toggle. And when it uh, sends out an output, it will toggle those things. The count repeater is different than the button repeater in that it takes uh, a specific number of inputs before it'll give you an output. So in this menu, you can see that we can go from two to eight inputs before it'll give you an output. So if I set this to eight, I have to get eight inputs before it's going to send an output. Um, we can demonstrate that here. We have a button repeater going into a count repeater that's set to four. So we go one, two, three, four, and then we get an output and this is reset back to zero. Uh, that's the basics of how the counter, count repeater works. The properties of the count repeater is that it does not stick to objects, but it can be placed on tier one slots. Um, another thing that you can do with the count repeater is attach it or attach T1 objects directly to the top of it if you do not pull out the segment pin. So if you pull out the segment pin, this won't work, but if you attach it if you attach an object directly to the top of it uh, without pulling out the segment pin, it will toggle the object. And if you put it on a platform and toggle the platform, it will toggle the count repeater, um, which will eventually toggle what's on top of it. Also, power does go through the count repeater to the object that's placed directly on top of it if the count repeater is attached to the platform. So we can uh, come over here, We've got one, two, it launches the firework rocket and turns on the light. So that is the basic properties of the count repeater. Uh, some of the uses that I've found are for timers. So here we have a button repeater going into a delay repeater, going back into the button repeater, but we also have a count timer over here. So if I turn this on, we're gonna get an output and it's gonna count up various amount before it gives you uh, an output. Uh, this can you can use to make a completely variable timer. Uh, pretty much any amount of time you can think of, you can uh, uh, make a timer now. Um, the, another use for the count repeater is to turn uh, two directional triggers into one directional trigger. So what do I mean by that is here we have a storage sensor and it's set to empty or not empty. Um, that is plugged into a count repeater set to two and then we have our output pin. And what this means is that it won't trigger when it's not empty, but it will trigger when it's empty. So this only triggers when it's empty. So it's changed this from instead of empty or not empty or full, not full, or uh, full empty or powered, not powered, whatever it is, it, it turns it from a double-sided signal into a single-sided signal. So that is everything about the count repeater. If you liked the video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.